Okay. Well, good morning, folks. Oh, how are you doing today? That's good. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing all right, drinking my coffee. It's been a little bit since I did a, a haul video, and I've been gathering some things up, so I thought I'd share with you some of the things we purchased. I bought this bought this Roomba at the Goodwill store, 25 bucks. I had a half off card that I used that day because I spent like $70 or something like that or 60 bucks or something so yeah I got half off so it was like 35 or something so that was cool so that was actually like 12.50 they don't really sell that great but um, that one doesn't anyway at least the ones I saw but uh, I'll uh, use it around here I probably get more for the power cord the remote than for the Roomba Unless that was just a rogue listing that sold cheap, so but I didn't see that many of those, so I'm gonna look them up. Got this Simpsons game, 99 cents. It's a clue, and I just saw it. It's got it's got these figures in it, so uh, nothing else. I'll just sell the figures out of it because the figures are cool. So um, it, I don't think this one sells that much for that much. Maybe 10 bucks. I'm not sure. I don't remember now, but. Uh, yeah, it wasn't exactly a really hot one. The one in the metal tin's pretty good. This one's not so hot. And I got this Risk game. Cool thing about it is, uh, it actually looks pretty good on the outside, but on the inside, everything's still in the bags. They never opened the game. They never took it apart. They never played it, which is a shame because I really liked Risk when I was a kid. I'd probably play it now if I had somebody I could beat. But. <laughs> World domination is just not my thing, I guess. So, uh, I'm not good at it. So yeah, so I got those. They are both 99 cents. So, and I've got them both at my Goodwill. My Goodwill, I guess you know, compared to the ones I'm seeing a lot of you guys shop at, you know, my Goodwill is pretty cheap. I mean, the most the most you'd see like a pair of shoes at the most. I don't think I've seen a pair of shoes over 20 bucks. Not that I would have paid 20 bucks for the like the for the shoes, but um. But a lot of times we get shoes for a lot of the shoes. Most of the shoes, I think the lowest they really go is five ninety nine. So there might be something three ninety nine. I'm not sure, but you know they're you know they're just that's shoes. But uh, yeah, pants are like five fifty nine. I think something like that. Six forty nine. Yeah, pants are six forty nine. Shirts are four forty nine. Books are well, they vary. It's just soft covers are a buck a buck twenty nine, and hard covers are a buck ninety nine kids books are priced different and uh, the wares are okay sometimes there are little stupid prices on on them but uh, they're not that bad they're not that bad. but then they you know they run their own auctions too so uh, you know it, I don't think you're gonna find any real home runs in my Goodwill store but you never know I found some good stuff and I got this Lego Minotaurus this is uh, another Goodwill but same same uh, district or whatever. It was 99 cents for this as well. It, this doesn't sell that great either, but it's Lego. And it looks like it's complete. It's got everything in here, so... Uh, 99 cents. Couldn't really say no. I mean, they would sell it for more than that. Alright, and... Nope, I don't know the papers ain't from there. I bought this yesterday over at the niche. Oh. It was ten bucks. I bought a bunch of stuff, so they gave me a, a bit of a deal. I paid twenty-one dollars altogether for everything I got, and uh, so anyway. But this was ten, and it is actually. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this. There we go, like that. Oops, I got it upside down. It is a case for an old Polaroid, a very old Polaroid. Uh, it's got, let's see, I'll pull this out, this is the camera, it's a Polaroid 360 with electronic flash, ooh, there's a flash, and it's got, uh, I don't want this part, this is a Polaroid fast charger model 363, don't know what that is. And then it's got a couple packs of film, 
and there's a, a roll, there's a roll of film in the camera as well. And this is a color process. I think this is a roll of film. I didn't know that was in there. Yeah, it's a uh, one of the little rolls. I don't know what's on there. Hopefully something cool. I don't have anything to play it on though. It's a color movie or something. They don't have it labeled, so that's probably just a family thing or whatever. Some I bet you the family when they donated this stuff didn't know it was in there either. Oh well, going now. From Breezeport, and that ain't nowhere near here. Breezeport, New York. I don't think that's anywhere near here. So, all right, and uh, I don't know. I think this is. I don't know what this this it is. Polaroid print mount. A couple things of those. Some little booklets are all in here. What's this? I think it's more yeah more print mount stuff. And there's some directions in here. Okay, but the cool part is the camera. Let's see if I can remember how to open it up. Yep. Flip that open like that. Flip that up. There's a there's the flash that they're talking about. And then I think it just pulls out. I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, it's one of them ones that that, that pulls out. So it's a land camera, a 360 land camera. And uh I think these were fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. I think something like that when I looked it up. So, yeah, I just, I just grabbed it because it's cute. That's cool. So, yep. So I got that. And what else did we get? I bought some Pez. They're ninety-nine, ninety-nine cents at the good, at the, at the Goodwill. So it's a, uh, well, it's got Thor in there and Hello Kitty and some pink. A horse pony thing and a couple of Disney princesses. Looks like a couple of bells and a Cinderella or is that Sleeping Beauty? I don't know. It's one with a little blue sash over her head. So, what else we got? Uh, and then I picked up this. Come on now, make it easy on me. You know, putting things back in the way they came out just ain't never this never as easy as. The other way around. No piece of, you know what? I ain't gonna worry about it right now. Forget about it. Just forget about it. I got this Boonton uh, divided bowl. I had a, uh, I think it was a yellow one or a pink one or something like that that I just, I just sold, but I had it listed for quite the while. It's a dollar twenty-nine, so um, I can leave it listed for quite the while. If I leave that one listed for, but blue's a little more, a little more. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, more in demand. It's a little more in demand, so that's cool. And then I bought these. It's uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's just this old, it's an old, it's an old racetrack stuff. It's plastic. It was from it was made by Ideal. I looked it up. Uh, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the greatest thing. This one was four ninety nine. I paid for this, but I needed to get to get up to ten bucks so I could get. It. Stamp on my card, my golf card. So, but it's got a whole bunch of junk in here. 1967, it says. And there's there's a car in here, but it's just the chassis. Is it the body is just beat up? Eh, that's not the right car. I don't know. The body is just beat. But it's all this plastic. It's all busted up. I don't know if you can see that stuff right now. It's all busted. And then there's a. There is a chassis in here too. It wasn't in the best of shape either. Yeah, it's got a couple wheels and motors in there. I mean, it's got a couple of wheels missing. Oh, and this this tire is all uh, rubber's all shot to bits. And yeah, like this one too. They're all dried up and nasty. Huh. I guess that works on two. Looks like two AA batteries you stick in there. I wonder if that still runs. I don't know. There might be another one in here. I don't know. I saw that one and I saw this track and I thought, well, five bucks. I mean, duh. If I can't get five bucks out of that junk, I mean, 
Well, that, that train track ought to be worth that much to somebody who's got who's got this this stuff. So not a train track, but that track should be worth that anyway. Uh, yeah. So uh, this film pack in here. Um. What else? Okay. I bought. I've got a big blue tote here. Never, you can't really pass these up. It's a good one. It's in good shape. It's not all busted up. It's two ninety nine. Those are expensive. Those that kind's expensive. I like the clear ones better, but I can still I'll still use these ones. What I buy? I bought. Uh, oh yeah. I bought this cool Nerf gun. Cause well, I wasn't gonna, but then this came back, and I thought, well, that is just too cool. I gotta have that. So I don't collect Nerf guns, but it's cool that it's got that on there. Um, I'll I'll just sell it. It's not a big deal to me. But, and it folds back up just as cool as can be, so, yeah, I like that. Alright, there's that. And then, uh, picked up these shoes while we were there, a pair of L.L. Bean, uh, like, flip-flop sandal, sandals there, so, yeah, I don't know if they're that good. These were four bucks, so, that's pretty cool. That was good enough to keep those out, because those are going to go in my wife's room for her stuff. And I bought one of these little plastic containers for... I'll probably put it in a dishwasher and use it in the kitchen, but if, I like these I like these things for keeping little stuff in and they're clear and I can see what's in there. I don't lose it so much. With Walmart, I bought these toilet papers. They're they uh, camp toilet papers, are biodegradable, Coleman. They were 75 cents each. I sent them into Amazon, get nine bucks a piece for them. And I bought three of these. They're they're sealed in package. Uh latch up kits so when I looked them up at, at the Goodwill they I paid three dollars a piece for them but uh, the profit on them was the profit was supposed to be 18 so uh, we'll see how that works out um, yeah I'm a little just gotta put it away so what else do we get oh yeah oh It's a mixer, the or not a mixer, a, a trans a transcriber. It's a Panasonic transcriber. It's cassette. I mean, it's got that. It's got this, I guess it's a foot pedal up here for it. The directions are here. Everything's everything's here. So, uh, hoping to get a couple bucks for it. Put that back in there. That doesn't go with that. So yeah, that's a good thing. That was three dollars for that. I paid three bucks for that thing. Okay, copy that. Yeah, I got that. I'm scoot over the other side of the other side of the table over here. And How about that. Can you see it? It's a it's a warmer. You know those copper warmer. I can't think of what they're called, but I just call it a warmer. Um, it's all copper, it's real nice, so, uh, some of these sell pretty decent, I paid, uh, I paid $5.99 for it, so, I might have overpaid, but I'm going to list it higher, just wait for a good buyer to come along, so, it's copper, man, so it's cool, alright, uh, yeah, oh, let's see, I'm going to grab this bag, in this bag. Alright. Oh, so, then we got a. That does go here. This goes over here. This goes this way. This goes that way. Get on there. Stick that way in the back back there. Or maybe not. Stick a flash down in there. There we go. I don't know what that little, that little thing was. Close that up. Sweet. Kind of closed it up. There we go. Bought this bag. Had a Belinda Carlisle cassette in it. Um, I'll throw that in a lot of, of 80s pop. Go from there. It's a little uh, Oxford common, Book of Common Prayer. That it was... Uh, that came in, in. That came with all that stuff. I paid twenty-one bucks for. So 
Uh, that's a that's a ten to ten to fifteen to twenty dollar uh, book. There, it's it's an old one. You can tell from the it's an old one. And I got this Jim Benton coffee mug still in the box. It's a Mr. Golf mug. You can look it up. One of them just sold for fifteen bucks. So it's a shit shot on it. Um, couple of more Bibles, a little, this is just a small one, then there's a, a pocket Bible. Uh, I just, the pocket Bibles, I'll just put them in lots together, and and they usually sell pretty good. Alright, and then this nasty looking thing is a, a gate, it's a gate pull, it's a, just, it's a Stanley. It just looks kind of rustic and stuff, so, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, clean that up. I might even take it out of the package and, and sell it. Or just leave it in the package. I don't know which way it would sell better. So anyway, that's nasty though. It's all dirty and crud. Get out of here. I bought this gadget because I have, there's, these actually are like a barbecue set or something like that or, or something. I, I, I don't I forget what they are. But there's another one with a flat end on instead of the fork and that's got a bottle, like a bottle opener on that side. Um, I have the other one up in my in my office, so now I have the pair. So and these little plastic tubs. This is, this is all part of the twenty one dollar stuff. And then uh, Fisher Price Price uh, pedal pedal blocks. Uh, I just I saw them. I think it was just eight dollars. Somebody, somebody got eight dollars plus shipping for a new one. So. Uh, yep, there's that one, and then this is a, uh, it's uh, Mopar, it's still in the bag, it's for uh, like uh, Chrysler Voyagers and stuff like that, it doesn't have a day on, it's just a trailer towing pack, it's just the, the wires for the towing package, so I didn't even look that up, I just grabbed it because it's cool, so, and I got a, I only got this because it's brass, so. Um, I'll just take it out. I'll probably just put it in my scrap, in my scrap pile, because I don't know what else to do with it. And uh, I bought, I bought a power cord, because it had an interesting end on, it had an interesting end on it. If you know what kind of tip, what kind of end that goes to, I appreciate you letting me know. And so that was that. Alright, and then we got this. Now this has been over the last week, or probably about a week or so that I've been thrifting this stuff. So, I don't think I went out all in one day and grabbed all this. I just haven't had a chance to do a video for you. I've been doing other stuff, so. All these X-Men cartoons, why? Because they're cool. Oh, and there's a Ninja Turtles one in there too, so. X-Men and Ninja Turtles. Um, I just got them because they're cool. So, uh. I always liked that back when they were on. I didn't care on the 80s. Uh, it took me a while to grow up. I don't really know if I actually did, though, to tell you the truth. And then, uh, somewhere I got this. Oh. Where did I get this at? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I got it. It's a garlic onion juicer. It's an old one. It's uh, Echo, Echo, flavor it, flavor it, USA. So I usually sell them. They usually sell okay, eight, nine, ten bucks or something like that. So, all right. And next, I bought this Flint Arrowhead uh, potato masher because I liked it. So there's that. And this one is a an Echo. Echo Forge, another potato masher. I sell them pretty regularly. When I have them, they don't usually stay too long. If they're if they're cool ones. This is Cambridge on the back. It's just a fork. Just a, like a serving fork, but it's got um, it's got mountains, mountains and a buck on the. There's a deer on there, a buck, on the thing handle. So I thought maybe that might have some interest. At least locally, if nothing else. And then I got another, uh, this is a, a Best Results by Echo. It's a, 
another, uh, what do you call them, uh, garlic press. And then I bought this Star Wars. It's an older one. It's, uh, I have to check it. I don't know if hand shot first in this one or not. It says 1990 on it. So, if you ever find the, the original one of these, the, not the original, but there's one from 1982, I guess it is. That's uh, kind of a sought after one. So, and I picked up a couple of nutcrackers because if I get a, a nut, a, one of those nut bowls, I'll put, uh, I include these with it. In the picks, I usually pick, get get the picks too when I see them. And then I got a piece of Tupperware because I just saved this old Tupperware. And one of these days, I'm actually going to get around to listing it. I have, you know, them big those big totes, like them big clear totes that you get. I have four of those full of uh, this old. This was, well, 60s, 70s, probably 80s uh, Tupperware. I just haven't got around to it. I have a lot of that kind of round to it stuff. Alright, next. Uh, we'll try this one. This one is uh, Pyrex Visions Lid. So I probably paid a buck for that. They they sell better if you got the lids. And this is the one of the greatest adventure VHS tapes. This one's sealed. They I, they do alright if you got a, a a a bunch of them. So I don't know if I have too many of them right now, but I did. They're probably around somewhere. And then I got another uh, Disney Princess one because I think this actually I'm gonna put on Amazon. I think it was. A little, I forget. I think it was better on Amazon though. This is a buck for this little uh, Fisher Price stuff. There's five or six like animals and people in here, so you know if you pay a quarter piece for the animals and people, that's a buck and a half. Um, so I don't know what that horse is to. So yep. And Power Rangers. I don't know if they're still any good or not, but I bought this one and I just put it in my collection of little Power Rangers. Hey, there's a kid in there. There's a kid's head in there. Cool. And then more little people. I bought more of these little. These are different. They have different bottoms. I don't know what, if you guys know more about them. See, the bottom is different on that one than they usually are. If you know what set, what they're, oh, that looks like, that looks like Belle, to tell you the truth. That looks like, yeah, because there's, there's a beast. Okay, I bought a mouse. That's from my wife's computer, cause she, her laptop, because I hate the the pad thing on it. And a little Pez, a blue kitty. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. So I don't know why I pick up Pez, cause I never really make that much money on it. I just do. I just, I just can't stop myself. Stop. Damn it. Alright, what do we got? Oh, I'll get this one first. Oh. And next we have, oh, this is basically, basically it's just a racetrack. It's just, it's just racetrack, just slot car racetrack, nothing exciting. A couple just cars, but they're not old ones. There is a Fisher-Price barn in here, but you've seen a bunch of them, so that's not, I paid $5.99 for the racetrack. And I might have even showed you that before, I don't know. Let's see. Here we go. Alright. Another little another little pocket Bible. Pick that up. And I picked up these little plastic things. I use these for my, my little stuff. And I paid a buck for that. Uh, yeah. Cool little green, green candle votive. I like that one. It's a what do they call that dot? It's a. It's not really a dot, and it's sort of like a little faceted gems on it. Made in Taiwan for somebody. I don't know, but it was a nice car. I like it. So I got it, and then I picked up one of these. The guts out of a Pyrex, uh, that's the stem. I got the rest of it too. Came out of a Pyrex, um, 
coffee percolator. There's a lid for it. So, yep, I paid three bucks for that. And I just bought that for me for writing stuff in. Let's get the mat off. I'm going to put this Pyrex some. Um, let's put it up here. Uh, ouch, that could have hurt. Let's see. Alright, I'm going to do this one. Oh, thank you. Alright, I got some of these Brita filters. They are 79 cents each. Uh, I don't know how well they sell, but they used to sell pretty good, so there's five of them. I got a couple more in here somewhere. They used to sell alright. Now, Farberware lid. That was 79 cents, but it was half off, so uh, 40, 40 cents basically. And this, I couldn't believe it when I saw this. I saw this at the Goodwill store. I couldn't believe it. It's a little piece of Pyrex. It's a fridge dish. It's orange. And what's really amazing is it was 99 cents. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. So, that is cool. Because you don't get them for 99 cents no more. Alright, and then I bought a bunch of these. I think I bought like, like eight of these. These things. Uh, they were green. They were marked $2.99. Some of them are marked $3.99. But they're all half price, so I think I bought eight of them. Um, and I should do re really well on those. So, um, I have them all done like that. So, yep. So, those should do really well. And that's what's in that bag. Put this one up here. Oh! This is. More phones. There's a grid of filters. There's more phones. And yeah, that's just more. That was at Lowe's there. And uh Oh, yeah, I bought a I bought a box cutter. I needed new some new razors, and that was only ninety cents, ninety two cents or something. Yeah, they had these for uh, they had these socket sets for a dollar eighty clearance. I bought they, these were the last three they had, but I bought some the other day too. They're, they're a week or so ago. They must have had these in the back room and pulled them out. But uh, yeah, they're uh, extreme access socket set. So. I think what they do with these is they actually, the ratchet actually goes on the, like on the outside of it, of the, so you have to have a specialized ratchet, or, or maybe a, a ratchet with, with that size socket on it, and then if you have a, a screw that needs to go all the way through, you could probably put it like all the way through, or if you even put a wrench on it or something, but yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. So I mean, a buck eighty. I put them in my yard sale for five bucks a piece. They don't sell on Amazon there. They do, but they're real. They're they're a buck eighty. <laughs> so that's that doesn't help much. But um, yeah. So, but yeah. I mean, my yard. If I put them in the yard sale, but I mean, I'll get five bucks a piece for them. So I thought, well, heck, I'll just I'll just pick them up. And the last of this is it's just books. Law for Business, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, I always pick his books up. Um, I used to sell them really well. It, I got a lot of them up right now. Uh, maybe I just got them priced too high. But The Theological Turn in Youth Ministry. But that. And these are all for, pretty much all for Amazon except for that, uh, that Kiyosaki book. And well, I got Atkins Essentials because I'm not, I, I'm not really doing... Atkins, but I am trying to lose some weight. I, was, I put a pound on yesterday, all on yesterday, after taking one off of well, I, I put it on this morning. and But I was stuck at 242 for like weeks. Yeah, I finally lost a pound. Yesterday I was 241. Today I'm back up at 242. That happens, but 
Um, it's kind of it. It's I'm just basically just cutting out processed foods and uh, just trying to eat. Um, uh, just trying to eat lower carb stuff and everything like that. Uh, so it, it's kind of Atkins, but I'm not sticking to any plan. But I thought there might be some recipes or something in here because you got to cook if you want to lose weight. You got to cook. It's just that's all there is to it. And then I bought the Roost Out No Work uh, Garden Book because that sells on eBay. And these were what I pay for these. Like uh, I think they're a dollar a bag at the place where I bought them. So it's cool. Uh, Blue Denim and Lace, Dr. Jack Hiles. He's a uh, a now passed on, fam pretty famous uh, Baptist preacher out in Indiana. Um, or is it infamous? Uh, one of those. And then uh, Louis L'Amour book, I bought that. And uh, there's a, I bought a South, a South Beach just so I could read a, read about it just for reading. And South Beach Diet Guide or whatever. And then Streams in the Desert, it's a devotional. It's a Christian devotional. And it's still going. It's going on Amazon. And that's about, I think it's all I got out here. So uh, I appreciate you sticking, sticking in and uh, watching my rambling on and on and on forever haul video it's pretty much all from all from uh, last week the stuff i picked up so um yeah that's it so uh have a great day and thank you for watching my video and subscribe if you liked it and keep listening take care bye bye